Hey, what's going on guys? Akeem here and I want to talk to you guys about uh, something uh, that's, I guess that's really important to me and uh, uh, I think it's probably important to you guys too. Uh, I'm going to try not to uh, cut too much from this video and just like speak from the heart here. Uh, so you guys may remember um, uh, probably I think over a month ago <clears throat> I actually submitted a video uh, to be a part of the uh, Screen Junkies news team. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on that. Uh, they, they've already launched the news team, and uh, I am not on it, which, you know, <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, uh, it, it, was a, it was a great experience, um, you know, because Screen Junk is, is, I mean, I love the things that they produce. I love all of the content that they produce. Um, I was fortunate enough to actually uh, go through um, their screening, uh, their screen testing process. Um, I actually got to sit down and talk to Andy Signor uh, on camera uh, during the screen test. It was an amazing uh, experience uh, for me. Uh, and <clears throat> it was really, it was really eye-opening. Um, I actually, I have my, uh, one of the screen tests that I actually submitted. Um, it's a private video on my channel. Uh, the link is in the description. You guys can go over and check it out, uh, comment on it if you want. Um, but let me know uh, what you guys think. Uh, essentially what they wanted me to do is, they just wanted me to do one long, uh, they gave me a script, and uh, what they wanted me to do was to read through the script um, just one long take, no breaks, no cuts or anything, um, which, which I did. So you guys can go and check that out and let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I wanted to do this video because I feel like I needed to kind of get this off my chest. So you guys may have noticed like some of the content on my, my channel has been sporadic as of late. Um, and it was because, uh, during that time after I, when I submitted that video and after they got in touch with me, I've been like, that's been my focal point, and so I wasn't really focusing on uh, the content I was producing on my channel as much because I was like, oh my goodness, this might actually be come a thing. I might actually become a screen junkie. I was so excited that I put all of my attention, all of my energy, and all of my focus into possibly becoming a part of the Screen Junkies news team. Uh, so it was just really all-consuming, and it took everything, everything out of me, every, everything within me. I put it into that, um, into this thing that didn't come to fruition. And, uh, you know, it was, I'm not going to lie, it was, it was kind of, I don't know, I was kind of upset about it, you know? Uh... A bummer. It was a bummer is what it was. I was really bummed out about it. So, um, like it, it really kind <clears> of <throat> stifled my creativity and I haven't, you know, I've been trying to get back on track with, uh, the content I've been producing on my channel. And I felt like in order to really do that, I need to, I need to kind of like express this, uh, <laughs> I need to express this in visual form uh, so that, you know, I can go back and even check it out myself and say, you know, okay, cool. Uh, that's what was going on in that, that segment of my creative life. Uh, so I just wanted to say that. Um, uh, but uh, the Screen Junkies news team is now, it's a, it's a thing. Uh, it's really exciting. I've been watching uh, their shows. Uh, it's, it's awesome. Uh, the people that they did choose for it. Um, are some cool cats and catettes, kittens, cat cats and kittens, uh, I guess. Uh, they're really cool people. Um, it's it's awesome that they were able to find that team. Uh, but I guess you know what's going on with me. It's more so like you know it's 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 kind of hard when you know you 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 hope to get something so much and you put so much time and effort into possibly getting said thing, only for it to not pan out. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, I don't know, you, you get kind of down and bummed out about it for a little while, you know, but then as you start to think about it more, it's, you, you, you start, you come to, to, to the realization that maybe this was just not for me. This particular thing was just not meant for me. You know, I, I, I'm a firm believer in everything that happens is for a reason. So, you know, me investing so much time and effort into this thing and not getting this thing was probably the universe's way of saying, look, Akeem, you, you can't 
always get the things that you really want the most, all right? You wanted this thing, 110%. You wanted it, but you didn't get it. Um, so I wanted to make this video, you know, to kind of just like, you know, to give you guys an update and, uh, you know, I guess maybe you guys can kind of, you know, I, maybe I can impart some wisdom to you guys, um, you know, that, you know, you may want, it may be a person, it may be a job, it may be whatever it may be. Uh, you may want it so badly and you're reaching those levels where it seems like this might soon become a reality for you only for it to not pan out. Uh, the, that's, that's life, you know, that is life and that though, that's what happens. Um, but, um, I still, I still believe that, uh, that there is something out there for me. That's, that's the reason why I'm, I'm here. I'm out here. I, I, I live in LA now. I moved about, uh, five months ago, uh, to LA and, um, the job that I currently have, I, I feel was pretty much facilitated the move, uh, for something bigger to happen, you know, now that I'm out here. Um, uh, I don't know what it is, um... I don't know when it will, it will hit or when it will happen, but I know as long as I continue to stay focused, uh, constantly creating content that I believe in and that, you know, is enjoyable to a viewing audience, I feel like I'll get there. Um, I just don't know. I don't know when. You, you never know when. You can't predict anything in, in life. Um, but... Uh, the only thing you can do is just keep trying and, and, and keep moving forward. Uh, and and when, when bumps like this in the road happen, don't, don't let it stop you uh, from, for, from creating. Um, and that, that's what I did. I, I, I let this stop me from creating content uh, because I was, my mind was so focused on this thing that I couldn't, I could not bring myself to get in front of this camera and and create content because I felt like this I need I need all my attention needs to be focused on this um, and that's what I was doing and I feel like I shouldn't do that you know because you know you're putting so much attention and time and effort into this one thing and what if it doesn't pan out you know and now I've actually come to realize what would happen if that doesn't pan out, it's not the end of the world, you know, uh, it's not, doesn't really speak ill upon you as, as a person. Um, it's, it's just, that wasn't meant for you. Um, and there's numerous factors that come into play, uh, into why that probably wasn't meant for you. I keep replaying that entire, uh, <laughs> I keep replaying that entire screen test back in my head over and over and over again, like all the things that I did, all the steps that I took, and I'm just like, okay, I did this thing, and I did that thing, maybe that was the thing that they probably didn't like, that caused their decision to go one way or the other, um, but again, I honestly, I will never know. I will never know uh, what, what prompted their decision uh, in the negative for me, um, which is fine. It's totally fine, um, but uh, I, I feel like I need to kind of like talk this out with you guys and to just talk this out in general because I want to get back on track with creating content um, that I firmly believe in and continuing to move forward with other opportunities that may present themselves because this is just one opportunity um, that... I mean, I just got, again, I just got here five months ago. This is, you know, the first big opportunity that I was like, yes, I want this thing here. I want it. Um, and I didn't get it. So this is just one in a line of opportunities somewhere down the road of my time and tenure here in LA that will arise. Um, I feel like this is a great place to be for these types of opportunities. You know, in, in Chicago, I, I didn't have these types of opportunities. I, I, I was fortunate enough to, uh, to get certain opportunities, like, you know, with working with Geek and Sundry, uh, being part of the YouTube Next Up program. Like, I was fortunate enough to get those things while still in Chicago. Wow, 
in Chicago. I got those opportunities, you know, and, and being a part of Geek and Sundry at the time was pretty much, you know, it opened my eyes up to this new world in LA. Cause they, they, when they flew me out to LA, it was the first time I was in LA and I was like, wow, look at everything around me. This is amazing. I need to actually be out here one day, one day. I didn't know when that day would come and you know, here it is now, uh, here it is, you know, what a year and a half later and some months, you know, I'm here now, uh, in the place that I wanted to be in, in LA. And so, yeah, I mean, there's a reason for everything. And, uh, this was definitely a learning experience for me. Um, yeah, uh, definitely a learning experience for me. Um, I'm glad I went through that experience and, you know, I may not be happy with the outcome, but I, you know, you know, I believe that that outcome happened for a reason, um, to teach me a lesson possibly, um, because there's something better in the horizon for me, possibly, I don't know. Um, but it's, it's, it's definitely something that, um, yeah, uh, overall looking at it, you know, looking at the entire piece, uh, looking at the entire puzzle piece, it's like, okay, I'm glad that happened the way it did. Um, and I'm glad it did happen. Uh, I, I think it, it, it's made me a better uh, person having gone through that experience. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm still here and I'm still making content for you guys. Uh, I got like a, I got a list of things that I'm actually working on, but I was like, you know what? I can't continue, I can't work on those things until I get this video out. I need to get this video out because I made that video that you guys saw uh, in answer to their casting call. And it's like, they're, you know, I have to respond. You know, I can't just create that video and then having gone through the things that I went through leading up to the launch of their new channel and clearly I didn't get it. So it's like, but I went through certain steps that almost led to me possibly being a part of that team. So I have to acknowledge that. And I just feel like, you know, I can't, I couldn't just continue onward without bringing you guys into my world. I mean, that's the reason why, you know, we create content here on YouTube to make you guys a part of our world. Um, uh, this is the reason why we, we make content on our personal channels, because we want you guys to be privy to what it is that we're doing, what we will allow you to be privy to, of course. Um, and this is something that I want you guys to be privy to, because I definitely fell off on my content production uh, once I was involved, once that ball started rolling. So I, I want you guys to be, uh, I, I want you guys to be in the know as to what took place. Um, it's unfortunate, but you know what? I'm still here and I'm still making content for you guys. And this isn't the end of my road. Uh, there's, there's, I know there, I, this isn't the end of the road. There will be a door that will open and I will step through it. And it's going to be the, the beginning of, of bigger and better things for us all. Um, I mean, that's, that's the reason why, you know, most people move out here to LA, right? You know, any content creators, any actors, any singers, musicians, that's the reason why we move out here because we're, we're, we're always constantly looking for that opportunity to uh, showcase what it is that we're able to do to a wider audience, you know? Um, and yeah, it, it'll come soon. It'll come soon. I just don't know when, um, but uh, I'm definitely uh, excited uh, to, to, continue to create content for you guys. And um, just wanted to share that story with you guys. Uh, I know this is like a bit of a long video, um, but uh, if you actually, and if you actually sat through this video, th through the entire video, um, I, th this is a way to test, to see who actually sh sat through this entire video. If you sat through this entire video, you could have also skipped to this particular portion of the video. But if you actually sat through this entire video, I want you to type in the comment section, chestnuts roasting. I don't know why that came to my mind. <laughs> but if you type chestnuts roasting, I know that's like super random, but if you type that, I will know that you got this far into the video. If you type chestnuts roasting, I'm thinking about Christmas 
It's November and I'm thinking about Christmas already. Just like, you know, if you go to the stores now, that you, a bunch of Christmas stuff, decorations in stores. This is weird. Um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to, you know, share that story with you guys. There's, a, there's little minute details as well that I will not share um, that was a part of that entire process. But yeah, that, I think I shared a pretty decent chunk with you guys. And uh, yeah, here we are, guys. Whew, I feel better getting this out of my system. Um, I feel like now I'm ready to get back in action and start creating the content. Start making more impression tutorial videos. Start making more song parody videos. Start making more cartoon analysis videos. I have some very interesting cartoon analysis videos that I want to start doing uh, that I really think you guys are going to get a kick out of. I also have some more animations on the way. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for, for actually uh, watching this and, and, and like letting me... I wouldn't call it vent. But letting me just talk to you guys about my experience um, with with the whole uh, Screen Junkies news uh, thing. I'm glad you guys, um, and, and I appreciate, I want to let you guys know I appreciate, you know, everyone that, you know, supported me, that all the people that commented on that video, who tweeted it out to Andy and, and Roth. I like, you guys are amazing. Who, you guys, I, I mean, like, that's really... It's really touching to know that, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm a small dude on the internet, but to know that there are, you know, there, there, there's a, a great group of people out there that actually care about the stuff that I produce on my channel and that care about me as a person, that really, that really means a lot to me. And I want you guys to know that I, I love each and every one of you guys for all the support that you guys do. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let's, let's get back. Let's get the show back on the road. You know, let's get, let's get back, back in action. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.